Hi everyone, Miss Martin here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Eat or Be Eaten. This is a card game that you can play with your family or your siblings. I did attach the PDF file if you're able to print it out. However, I'm also going to be sharing an online game called a food chain game. All right. First, I'll demonstrate how to play Eat or Be Eaten, the card game, and then I'll demonstrate how to play the food chain game, and then you guys can play that on your own. So let's watch the video first. In today's activity, you're going to play a card game called Eat or Be Eaten. In this game, you'll make food chains using animals and plants. You may have seen these animals and plants before, but you may not have thought much about what they eat or what eats them. There are a few dozen cards that look like this. The text on each card tells you what a plant or animal eats or what it's eaten by. You're going to pick cards from a stack and use the cards to make food chains. You make a food chain by setting cards side by side so an animal is next to its food. Here's a very simple food chain. Beetles eat caterpillars. But you'll get more points for a long food chain. So you need to think about how to make a chain that's longer than just two cards. You can add to the end of this chain by asking, well, what is the caterpillar of a moth eat? By reading the card, you'll find out that they eat rotting wood, like this log. Now, you can also add to the other side of the chain by asking, well, what eats beetles? One animal that eats beetles is a raccoon. So you could add a raccoon to the beginning of the chain. If you're really sneaky, you can look for ways to make a chain longer from the middle by asking yourself, well, what else eats beetles? It turns out frogs eat beetles and raccoons eat frogs. Now there are more than four cards in the food chain. For a food chain this long, you'll get bonus points. You can make more than one food chain at a time too. Make as many food chains as you can. Okay, here we go. I'll walk you through how to play. Step. Okay, so if you're playing by yourself or if you just wanna watch how I'm gonna play, what we start with is our deck of cards face down and I'm gonna flip them over. So this is a snail. The text says, I eat soft green plant leaves, lettuce, parsley, flower leaves, clover, and even grass. Oak leaves are too tough for me, but if I'm dead, if I'm hungry, I'll nibble on dead leaves. So I know he eats a lot of leaves and stuff. So we'll flip another card and see if that could possibly be part of the food chain. Okay, so this is the garter steak. It says, I hunt in the grass for ants, beetles, pill bugs, cockroaches, crickets, earthworms, and spiders. I also eat mice, frogs, salamanders, and lizards. Don't be scared of me unless you're on my list of snacks. So comparing these two, it doesn't look like the garter snake will eat the snail. So I'm gonna start two chains here. Remember the name of the game is to get the longest possible chain. Let's flip another card. The hawk. I swoop down to grab small animals with my sharp claws. I eat gophers, mice, pigeons, robins, sparrows, even lizards and snakes. All right, so since the hawk eats a snake, I can add that to this food chain. And now I got two links in my chain. The hawk, I eat garter snake. So far so good. Let's flip another card. Robin, I hop around searching for worms, caterpillars, snails, beetles, crickets, ants, spiders, and even daddy long legs. I also eat fruits and berries off bushes and trees. Okay, so it looks like I have a connection to our snail. So we have our snail and then the robin eats the snail. Now we're still looking connections for what the garter snake eats and what does the snail eat. So let's keep on flipping cards. House cat. Yes, I eat cat food, but I like to hunt too. I prey on mice, gophers, squirrels, small birds, and even lizards. Ooh, so take a look at this. Our house kit, if he was out in the wild and if you let your cat out, he might hunt a bird like a robin, which is a small bird. Flip another card. Jumping spider. I pounce on insects that spend time on the ground. I eat crickets, ants, cockroaches, caterpillars, and even daddy long legs. So comparing all of these, let's see. Would anything eat a jumping spider? Doesn't look like the snail would eat a jumping spider. However, check the garter snake out. I hunt in the grass for ants, beetles, pill bugs, cockroaches, crickets, earthworms, and spiders. So we found another link. So far, this food chain has three connections. The hawk eats the snake and the snake eats the spider. 
grab another card. Let's see how long we can make this. Pigeon. You can feed me popcorn, bread, crumbs, and peanuts, but when no one gives me human food, I eat seeds and berries, plus snails, earthworms, and crickets. So my snail's already being eaten by the robin. This would also be another one that could possibly eat the snail. But for now, I'm just gonna put that off to the side. Maybe we'll make a new chain with him a little later. All right, grass. Let's see. I have lots of leaves and seeds. Lots of seeds. That's lunch for lots of critters. So that's the start of a food chain. Let's see who eats grass. Looks like the snail eats grass. So, so far we got four connections. So the grass is eaten by the snail, which is eaten by the robin, and which is eaten by the house cat. I wonder if we can go to five connections. Swallowtail butterfly. I drink nectar from flowers, and I'm not picky about what flowers. I'm happy in a flower garden, vegetable garden, or a clover patch. Even a parsley plant is fine with me. I wonder if there's anything here that eats the swallowtail butterfly. Let's see. The jumping spider says I pounce on insects that spend time on the ground. So, he is not one of the major um, prey for the jumping spider. Let's put him off to the side as well. I'm just going to focus on the two chains for the sake of this video. Oak tree. Some animals are nuts about me. After all, I provide lots of acorns, along with leaves and bark. So, doesn't look like that would be part of that food chain either. Okay? If you're playing with a sibling, you would take turns picking cards and adding to your food chains, and whoever has the longest one would win. Okay, rotting log. I am where hungry animals can find rotting wood, bark, and dead leaves. I'm tasty eating for the right critter. So did the jumping spider. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if we can find crickets and cockroaches or caterpillars. I'm just gonna skip a few of these. Hmm, let's check this one. Cockroach. I eat many things, including bark, paper, leaves, living and dead, and any human food I can find. I'm particularly fond of cheese. Interesting, I didn't know that about cockroach. So I can add cockroach to the beginning of this food chain because the jumping spider eats the cockroach. Ooh, and looking back through my discard pile, I remember seeing a rotting lock. And it looks like our cockroach would love to eat that rotting lock. So. So far, if I were to count up these points, I go from the rotting log to the hawk. The hawk eats the garter snake. Garter snake eats the jumping spider. Jumping spider eats the cockroach. And the cockroach eats the rotting log. So that's one, two, three, four, five points for that. And then down here, an additional one, two, three, four points for that. So you and a partner would go and play, and to play this game taking turns and see, counting up your points, who would get the most food chains and the longest food chains. All right, so that's one option for you guys to play this week. Another option is the food chain game. I'm gonna share this link as well, along with the PDF files. So the way it works, drag the parts of the food chain to their correct place. Uh, since this is ran off of um, Adobe Flash Player, if a button might pop up here saying approve Adobe or enable Adobe, make sure you hit that button. So to play the game, when the chain is complete, it will come to life and you can watch the food chain in action. So let's see. So we have bird, flower, and caterpillar. So we know the bird's a big guy. We'll put him. And the arrows show the energy going from one animal to another. So the bird's at the end of the chain. He would eat the caterpillar, which is in the middle of the chain. So the energy from the caterpillar goes to the bird. And then the caterpillar would eat, oops, I do this single-handedly, would eat the flower. All right, let's see. He's gonna eat that flower, nom nom nom. And there comes the bird to eat him. Do one more, and then you guys can try this on your own. We have four parts, snake, mouse, hawk, and acorns. So, starting with your apex predator, which means the top of that food chain, you have your hawk. Come on. 
and he'd be at the end of the food chain. The hawk likes to eat snakes. So there's our snake. Mice get eaten by the snake. And mice like to eat acorns. Let's watch him go. So there goes the mouse eating the acorn. The snake's gonna eat him up. And then here comes the bird to eat that snake and fly off. All right, guys, whichever way you decide to play the food chain game, either electronically or using the card game, let me know how you do. And if you have any questions, don't forget to record a Flipgrid video. Thanks, guys, for joining me.